Philosophically, does the constant supply of information steal our ability to imagine or replace our dreams of achieving? After all, if it is being done somewhere by someone and we can participate virtually, then why bother leaving the house? Michigan looks more like a hot tub. Watch out for the shock, it's coming. are moving forward into the square behind water cannon, the protesters throwing Molotov cocktails in response. The desperate scene as mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters arrive at the school where more than 200 girls were abducted. Thousands of people took to the streets today for two rival protests over tomorrow's controversial vote on the future of the Crimea region. So our message is clear. We are united in condemnation of these barbaric and despicable acts. They should be very clear, these terrorists. Their threats will only harden our resolve to stand up for our values and to defeat them. Thousands of mourners have turned out for the funeral of the Canadian reservist shot dead in last week's attack on the seat of government in Ottawa. And may his son, young Marcus Daniel Cirillo, someday find comfort in the fact that our entire country looks up to his dad with pride, with gratitude, with deep, abiding respect. The top UN judges ordered Monday that Japan must halt its whaling operations in the southern ocean around Antarctica. Japan, we have liftoff of Antares, the Dwarf 3 mission that brings Cygnus on its third CRS mission to the ISS. The main engine's at 108%. Floods and landslides in northern India and Nepal have left at least 180 people dead. Al Sayed Nasser is my father. And with that simple fact, I stand here as proof that violence isn't inherent in one's religion or race, and the son does not have to follow the ways of his father. It's an extraordinarily peaceful movement. It's perhaps the most polite bunch of protesters I've ever come across. Shot down, not an action. Blown out of the sky. Utter devastation. As far as the eye can see, an apocalyptic scene. Freetown is deserted as the city begins a three-day lockdown in a bid to stop the deadly Ebola virus from spreading. In wait for news, rumour and speculation are no help. But best guesses are all anyone has at the moment. More than 12 hours after flight MH370 was due to touch down in Beijing,
am grateful to be, have been loved and to be loved now and to be able to love because that liberates. Love liberates. It doesn't just hold. That's ego. Love liberates.